In, in, when I wrote Angels, which has stuff about the, you know, ozone, I mean, that was just in the news at that point, and, and it's been in the news since the 70s, since the 60s, I mean, since Silent Spring, I mean, there's been, you know, endless warnings. I mean, you can, it's in Moby Dick. I mean, Herman Melville says, you know, there are people who say that if we keep fishing whales in the way that we're doing it, there won't be any whales left. But this is nonsense. I mean, you just go and see the shoals of whales I've seen, and they, you know, stretch from here to the I mean, But you can see that there, there's actually debate about, you know, over uh, active whaling in the middle of the 19th century when it was the uh, industry that was fueling, you know, lighting the lamps of the world. Uh, and, and I think we've had a suspicion that we have the technological means to bring all life on the planet to an end for a very long time now. Um, I, I, you know, I think back to Robert J. Lifton and the old idea of nuclear numbing. It's like when you're, when you're confronted with an actual apocalyptic possibility, you can't, the mind can't conceive it. I mean, the mind can't conceive its own demise. You can't conceive that you're actually going to die when you're, you know, in your 90s. So how on earth are we really going to wrap our minds around the possibility of, of the annihilation of the, of the planet? Uh, it's, it, it, you know, as, as Lifton said, it, it produces a, um, a, a dissociative state and, and a kind of a deadness. And I think that um, you run into that. Uh, well, the, I think we're just, we, we, we're going to do this in cycles over and over and over again. What needs to happen, obviously, is that the, uh, there needs to be a, a gathering up of political will sufficient to push past the sort of self-interested um, nonsense. It's not even so much that the right, uh, I mean, the one comforting thing about the sort of anti-global warming stuff from the right is that it's at least not coming from Jesus and from, you know, complete irrationality. It's coming entirely from greed. It's just people not wanting to have to, like, you know, cut their profit margins by becoming greener. Um, and uh, it's just entirely a matter of, um, of, of summoning the political will. But it's, it's a question I'm like, almost any other question except for nuclear prol proliferation, because it's the question that can make even people who are uh, insistent on remaining hopeful despair, because it's not clear that the human race has the capacity to change at a rate sufficient to outpace uh, the rate of, you know, ecocide or the rate of nuclear proliferation. And we could, you know, eventually, if there was enough time, we work this out. We may not have enough time, and that's the question. I mean, it's scary to me almost more than hearing these morons still say, well, there's no such thing as global warming, is, is to watch scientists say, well, we have 10 years, or we have 20 years, and I really always wonder, are they lying to us because they don't want to produce despair? So they're telling us that we actually, but when you see the rate of the disappearance of glaciers, and it doesn't look to me like we necessarily even have that much time. Um, and, you know, again, I mean, what has to be done in order to reverse this is feels, you know, overwhelming. Although, you know, and then the one day after 9-11 when they stopped all airplane traffic in the United States and basically around the world, for one day there was some staggering decrease in the amount of uh, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere just from one day's cessation. So there are also things that could be done that maybe wouldn't cause, you know, mass global calamity that would, you know, I mean, it's just finding a way, you know, back to sanity. It's hard to know whether we're going to be able to pull it off. But, um, and I don't know, it's very difficult to deal with it as an artist because I think it, it's, a, it's a thing that happens on a, on a scale that um, it's, uh, it's, it's difficult to, to um, uh, approximate or to make, I mean, the minute you've made it intimate, you've sort of lost what it is. It's, it's, a hard, it's, a, it's as hard to grasp it in a work of art, I think, as it is to just sort of let it settle into your consciousness and keep it alive there and not throw yourself out the window. It's, uh, so I struggle with that a lot because I feel that I've backed away from it as a thing that I write about, partly just because I don't really know exactly how to... Uh, um, address it head on. Like, well, wait a minute, why aren't we spending all of our, you know, this is theoretically the one thing that we all have, you know, the entire human race has a shared stake in.